out at Broncos Bay, Broncos Sprite area, on the launch of the new Hyundai Creta, the new model, and very, very unusual lights and daytime running lights that run around over here. They're just a very unusual treatment overall. You can see the familiar Hyundai grill over here, but also we are in the top model in the range, and that is the executive, which comes with the option of the two-tone white and black roof, which is a very neat trim indeed, and in executive also on this model you are up to a 17 inch mag wheel over here. The crater's shape generally is very similar to the previous generation and you'll see it is similar and again very unusual treatment on the rear lights as well over here with the interesting shape over there of the lights and that little bit over there as well. So just very very different, very unusual. Those twin exhausts at the back may just give you a signal and tell you that this is, have a look over here, because they have changed the engines and this is the 1.4 turbo version. This engine puts out 103 kilowatts, 242 newton meters of torque out of a little 1.4 turbo and let me tell you it goes and it is specifically matched to a 7 speed dual clutch automatic transmission, smooth as anything, runs nicely, really quite a pleasure to drive. Overall you can see the lines have changed slightly. There is also 1.5 naturally aspirated and that puts out 85 kilowatts as well as a 1.5 diesel version also 85 kilowatts 252 newton meters of torque so those that's the range over there and obviously manual in the lower models as well or a normal six-speed auto in the diesel version let's look inside quickly as well on the open road now and wow nice bit of acceleration over there you can feel that and that was an overtake over there and the interesting thing was to show you that that seven speed dct dual clutch automatic gearbox you really do not feel gear shift it's very very smooth very easy it's a very relaxed drive my driver for this stretch carl weapner chairman of the sa guild of motoring journalists currently carl what's your impression what are you thinking of the car so far ellen i'm very impressed with the car the ride quality is excellent it's a car that's quiet and uh, as you just mentioned acceleration is just very good there i'm accelerating from 130 on and that's what you need for overtaking and before you know it you on 140 and the gearbox is as smooth as they get and it's not a whining gearbox it is a lovely vehicle the seating position the steering position your overall view outside is just excellent and the brakes are not bad either, eh? Yeah, the brakes are very good. Yeah. Nice space in the back seats as well. Let's just show you. Plenty of legroom even behind Carl, and he's not a small guy. So you've got that too. But overall, definitely here yeah, come a bit of overtake, a bit of acceleration. And you can feel very... It's just... The word just smooth just keeps coming to mind, quite honestly. Jumping inside the car, you'll see, and let me show you, as I always do like to show you. We've done 84 kilometers on this run so far in the car, and showing an excellent 6.7 liters per 100 kilometers. And let me tell you, I haven't really, really uh, taken it that easy. We've certainly done some nice overtaking, some nice driving, and it certainly has shown itself. There's red trim on the dash in various points as well, just to sort of highlight very neat and then you have got the touch screen system over here and this has stood out to me on this car look how neat the aircon system is very clean uncluttered neat there's down here you can see you've got your usb your 12 volt and there's even wireless charging on the top model over here as well so nice touches the dash is plastic but it's very well put together looks good looks neat and just generally on the top model as well you get full leather trim with nice contrasting red stitching in various spots as well and that gear shifter look at that that sort of t-bar gear shifter looks very nice this particular car we're in now is selling at 484,000 rand as the top model in the range six airbags again as standard so you get lots of features as well but the new range with the 1.5 petrol engine starts at about 370,000 Rand so just take into account that's where your price range runs
overall looks very interesting and a compelling new addition and I think massive improvement on the previous version.